Happy Friday! Happy Friday! Welcome to 5 Minute Friday Fun. Today we are going to be making some crayon wax rubbings. Um, that is where you take a piece of paper and you rub the crayon on it on a textured surface and it makes some really cool patterns. So what you're going to need today is you're going to need some pieces of white paper, you're going to need crayons, you're going to need scissors and you're going to need some glue because we're going to cut them up and make some cool collages today. I'm going to show you one that I made earlier so you kind of get an idea of what we're doing. So I made a little scene with a little bunny and some flowers and all of that. And all of these, these textures you see, like that looks like a bunch of little circles. There's some lines on this one. This made a cool circle. This one right here is from that great right behind me. I, all I did was I took a white piece of paper and I walked around and I found anything that looked cool, anything that had kind of a bumpy textured surface to it. And I rubbed my crayon across it and it made a really cool pattern. So for instance, I have this circle on my table here and this is something that you can do outside. Um, that is really, really, really cool to get like Oh, what, like leaves. You can actually see all the veins in the leaves. Um, even concrete has a texture to it and you can make some really cool patterns. You can layer things. Um, so this circle you see that I just made, I'm going to go back over it with a different color just to kind of give you an idea of how you can layer things. Now I have my two circles. See that? So once you have a bunch of different textures, um, you can see I made another set of those blue circles. That's actually from the vent on a printer here at the library. Um, the cool grate behind me, it's got this really neat pattern. If you can find something like that in your house, just be careful that you don't put your crayon over the edge so you're not coloring on the walls or anything. And you rub your crayon back and forth. Now, if you have crayons that don't have the paper on, that might actually work better because you could actually rub the entire side of the crayon. You don't want to use the very point because then they would just be like scribbling and you wouldn't get that cool texture showing up. So what you want to do and you can kind of see how the side of my crayon got flat because I was rubbing it with the side. If you use the point it's not going to show up so well. So you can see my pattern that I got there. And then what you can do is you can cut these, um, these patterned pieces, these wax rubbings into different shapes. Um, so for my picture here, you know, I cut the little bunny ears out and just glued them on. Now, if you don't want to make a fun scene like this, um, you could make, you know, a space rocket ship. If you don't want to do that, another thing that you might do is make letters out of your shapes. So that's what I'm going to do. And you can do it with me. I'm going to cut my cool blue circles into words. I'm going to cut out the, the letter shapes. Now, if you're not so good at freehand cutting and you want to write on top and then cut out that way so you don't mess up, that's an idea. Part of this is just, it's the discovery of all the textures around you. I mean, your house must have vents and you know even even if a sign you know even the cover of a book now be sure you don't get the crayon on the cover of the book but some of them have like a bumpy surface um even with the words so i made an h <laughs> and you can glue this on and you can write a message to somebody and it'll look really neat so i'm gonna write a message to you this morning all right are you ready for this I'm going to glue it onto my piece of paper. It helps to have one big piece of paper so you can kind of make your collage by gluing all the pieces on there. So they show up really nice. But if you don't have white paper and you've only got like colored construction paper, that works too. That works too. You just have to make sure that you get a dark enough crayon for it to show up. Maybe go over it a few times. So there's my message to you. Hi. Happy texture hunting. If you make a really cool, um, you know, 
scene or you write a really awesome message and you want to share it on Kenosha Public Library's Facebook page, um, that would be pretty cool. We'd love to see them. Happy Friday!